never heard of that in my life. Spielberg doesn't have the rights to Jaws. In other words, the studio owns it. How he got that, I don't know, which means I have to beg him. Can I do this? Can I do that? I really want to speak to the fact that I've had some challenges in the last couple of years myself. And uh, ultimately, I believe that suffering leads to salvation. And at a certain point, I, I realized, hey, wait a second. You know, it's so easy to lose Jim Carrey. Who the hell is Jim Carrey? Well, I'm retiring, but... No. Uh, yeah, probably. Are you being serious or are you scrolling me? I'm, I'm being fairly serious. We're in 2024, so we expect that several of our most successful stars from the 9s should be at a place where they've become untouchable by Hollywood. But this has not been Sylvester Stallone's experience. And now he's warning Jim Carrey about facing the same fate. No, you know, you can't make peace. I mean, let's be realistic here. You can't make peace when someone has been so, so nefarious in my in my opinion so what's stallone's experience and why does he have to warn carrie about it if you're not aware one other thing sylvester stallone and jim carrey have in common besides being industry icons is that their success in the industry came with all the odds stacked against them in stallone's case it was getting cut out of creed a franchise he literally helped make into a cult class Following his raising his voice in support of those who have been speaking out against what is widely considered to be Hollywood's indoctrination of the people. The movies I had been seeing were at an all-time low. It was everything was anti-society, anti-Christ, anti-government, anti-everything, and there was no one to root for. What does this have to do with Jim Carrey like him? Carrey has also carried the banners with messages against the tropes Hollywood seems to keep trying to force down the throat of their viewers. However, unlike Stallone, Jim Carrey has been a lot more vocal about just how shady his industry has been. That's right. This man hasn't held punches back in exposing his peers and superiors in the industry, even touching on how the government might have been in on the whole scheme to keep the people distracted from the truth. For years now, talk show hosts, people on television, people in sitcoms have been hired by the government to distract you, to make you laugh, make you happy and docile so you don't know what's really... How would Carrie even know all of this? You could argue that his awareness may have come from the decades he's invested in portraying varying characters in Hollywood. But Jim's consistency with passing cryptic messages about his line of work might beg to differ nonetheless. While he's been vocal about his fight, the actor hasn't always been as vocal about some of the consequences that have come from his dedication to exposing the industry. There have been tragedies, followed by several heartbreaks, but in all it seemed like nothing in the world could deter Carey from his mission. But this year has come with a new set of problems for the actor that he could never have seen coming. Then there was a decision to be made. And the decision was to look upon the people who were causing that suffering the situation that was causing that suffering with compassion and with forgiveness. All everyone is asking right now is what happened to Jim Karen? Did the industry finally catch up to him? Or has he decided the fight is a lost cause? These questions make up why someone like Sylvester Stalin's life might have been the most glaring warning sign to carry about the world that awaited him after spilling the beans on Hollywood. But this is only where the story of these men begins. As previously mentioned, it may not be able to tell because of how widely different their character portrayals are. But Jim Carrey and Sylvester Stallone have a lot in common. Both both men have been in the good fight against Hollywood. And both men have suffered great losses in the process. As for what makes Stallone qualified to be passing warnings to Jim Carrey. The man's life has been filled with pain. The Hollywood heavyweight who often plays characters who find themselves in a rough spot and are forced to roll with the punches both figuratively and literally hasn't had the easiest time in Hollywood. He portrayed the working-class immigrant struggle as Rocky Balboa in the Rocky franchise. He illustrated the horrors of PTZ as John Rambo in First Blood and the five Rambo films that followed. Although he might not be a boxer or war, Veteran, in reality, his life has certainly been rife with hardship. Even before Hollywood came into the picture, Stallone's life had already been difficult. Following a traumatizing childhood, he grew up with abusive parents, struggled in school, and spent some time in foster care. It took him a while to break into the film industry, 
And even after becoming a household name, he's had to fight some tough battles and endure family tragedies. All of these experiences made up his belief system, which was why the actor dedicated a significant part of his career to crafting stories with a message, something the people at the helm of power in Hollywood didn't seem to particularly enjoy. Though silent for the most part, that disdain was later felt after. The actor's movie roles started to dwindle, but the last straw came about two years ago, when he was cut out of one of the franchises his career had been attached. The most and ongoing source of anguish for Stallone has been not owning the rights to the Rocky franchise. Stallone came up with the concept for Rocky in 1976, penned the 90-page script over the course of just three days, and starred as the titular character in 2019. Stallone opened up to Variety about the frustrating situation I have zero. Ownership of Rocky. He said it was shocking that it never came to be. But I was told, hey, you got paid, so what are you complaining about? In 2022, Stallone voiced his anger about the rights once again, this time by taking to Instagram to critique producer. Erwin Winkler, after Erwin controlling Rocky for over 47 years, and now Creed, I really would like to have at least a little of what's left of my rights back before passing it on to only your children. I believe that would be a fair gesture from this 90. Three-year-old gentleman, this is a painful subject that eats at my soul because I wanted to leave something of Rocky for my children. He wrote mine, and the thing is I don't care about the money. I wanted to leave it to my children. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, I wrote it. I, I thought it would be nice to say, here's a gesture, dark. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Stallone explained what triggered his Instagram outburst. They wanted another Rocky, and I was willing to do it. But I said, after 45 years, can we change the playing field a little bit, level it out? And the thing is, I don't care about the money. I wanted to leave it to my children. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I wrote it. I, th I thought it would be nice to say, here's a gesture, darling. In the end, he asserted the answer was no following that interaction. It was revealed that his staunch push back against the narratives being promoted by Hollywood might have been responsible for that resounding no something. Jim Carrey also seems to be experiencing Carrey. The legendary actor has finally opened up about the twisted reality the entertainment industry has built around us. He believes that our values have been deformed over time, as the higher Yubas worked on preaching their agendas to the younger generation. He seems to believe it has come to a point where even our imagination is ruled by them. Jim Carrey alluded that the industry has been silently brainwashing us to believe what they want. And see what they want you see it is not often we see Jim. Carrey speak out on something like sedition. The fact that Jim chose to say these words on an international stage where he knew that no one would support him, is unquestionably commendable to top it off. Jim even mentioned some of the forgotten stars who were victims of the Hollywood. Elite's schematic agendas, fans believe that everyone in the audience knew what Jim said was undisputedly true. But not even one clap to show him support. Look closely at the faces in the audience. I believe they know he's telling the truth. Bravo, Jim Carrey. Well, even though what Jim did required nerves of steel, it did have some foreseen consequences. Just like what had happened to many others who tried to rebel against the system, Jim was seemingly silenced indirectly.